I am Dr. Monica Rodriguez. I'm an associate professor in Spanish and Translation Studies, and I'm currently serving as graduate program director in the Department of Languages and Cultural Studies. I teach specialized translation at the undergraduate and graduate levels, and I also teach courses in translation project management, computer assisted translation tools, among others. I am Dr. Paloma Fernandez Sanchez. I'm a senior lecturer and academic advisor of the Spanish programs. Our study evaluates the learning outcomes of an online undergraduate writing intensive literature course that focuses on Hispanic women writers. This presentation outlines the curricular design for online delivery with the implementation of a partially flipped classroom. The curricular design is in alignment with the Quality Matters framework that allows us to map learning outcomes to course deliverables. We will discuss the assessment approach that compares the achievement of learning outcomes with the student perceptions of their own performance. This presentation will address some of the elements that make this course successful, an approach that could be implemented in other writing intensive courses, perhaps Janet courses, designed for face-to-face -face or online delivery. A writing intensive course on literature is a crucial component of the Spanish curriculum and general education, particularly due to directly transferable skills that are developed when constructing a critical analysis of a text. However, writing assignments can be demanding and challenging for students when redesigned for online delivery. They also tend to have an understanding of what the course is about, different from what course objectives are. Students tend to think that it is about grammar and sentence structure rather than the writing process. Therefore, we develop a flipped classroom methodology with a wide range of low stakes and high stakes scaffolded assignments to aid students in developing a more self-directed learning approach. In other words, being in charge of their own learning step by step. We follow the review process suggested by the QM rubric, eight standards, widely used and regarded at our university. This framework allows us to align specific learning objectives to course assignments. The notion of alignment entails the idea that key elements in the course must work together in order for students to achieve the desirable learning objectives. In what follows, we look at how outcomes were measured. The data from the assessment is compared with student perceptions of the achievement of these outcomes. The data from student perception is collected from surveys three times over the semester. Assessment of outcomes is performed through direct measurements of students' performance in several writing assignments. We will illustrate one in this presentation. For the purpose of this presentation, we concentrated on SLO 4. SLO 4 says, apply the process approach to construct a variety of written pieces. Assignments are scaffolded from thesis statements to drafting, peer review, and self editing. Specifically, students critically examine and comment on their own writing on week 14. To do so, we develop the following assignment with its own rubric. In a nutshell, the measurement tools consisted of rubrics specifically designed for each assignment that describe critical performance markers. Along with each rubric, there was integrated constructive feedback. Now let us move to results, performance indicator, as well as student perceptions. The assessment of learning outcomes was operationalized by establishing a performance indicator for each learning outcome. Each performance indicator was calculated from an aggregate of assignments. It determined the percentage of a student's achievement cumulative grades that were higher than the statistical average. 
the indicator for learning outcome 4 is 76.8%. In addition to this quantitative direct assessment of assignments, we also design a survey on learner perceptions. This pie chart shows a student's perception of the writing skills in English. Initial results suggest key differences in the impact of feedback on their own writing. Students show at the end of the semester an increased confidence in their self-editing skills and in editing their own writing, from a neutral opinion to a perception of a higher level of agreement. Peer-to-peer -peer interaction through discussion boards and peer reviews contributed to an increase in student autonomy. Data also show that detailed feedback from the instructor, as well as the use of a specific detailed rubrics, led to achievement of learning outcomes. Our contribution is a specific assessment metrics, particularly a systematic evaluation of learning outcomes that blends direct and explicit alignment between course objectives and assignments, while considering student perceptions of their own learning. This approach is valid for any Gen Ed course or writing intensive course as you see fit. Here is our dissemination of results. We're very grateful to Charlotte for this support. And please don't hesitate to contact us to continue the conversation or for a specific templates that we can share on this project. We're here to help. Thank you for your time.